you are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Compton, California has gotten a bad reputation over the years. When you think about Compton, many people think about guns, they think about gangs, they think about rap, gangster rap, they think about everything wrong with the city. And they also think about African Americans. Compton is a predominantly African American and now Hispanic city. So, so many negative things about Compton, so many stereotypes, so much public negative typecasting about the city. And then recently, Compton has been back in the news again, didn't help matters. Now, a decision by the Compton Board of Education to allow its Compton School Police, of all things, to carry automatic weapons, AR-15 assault weapons. Got a lot of publicity, got a lot of uh, negative comment and commentary, as it should. That weapon? That's horrible. That's horrible. Anything could happen. Anything. I think they need to find another solution. And even then, uh, even more, city ordinance workers now, you know, those that go around and inspect cars and weeds and houses and stuff, now they can carry guns. They're packing too. It didn't really help things. Once again, looking at Compton as a dangerous, deadly city that's really a threat to everybody's. In my opinion, as a citizen, if someone is coming to, to, get, to uh, inform me of a code violation, I would hate to think they have a gun, because when you carry a gun, you have the intent to use it or shoot or kill. And I don't think a gun is necessary to um, inform a citizen of a code violation. So for the last couple years, uh, and I've been there since 2012, there has been an ongoing debate about the, um, about the guns. And so the question, because we were now the last code enforcement department in the state of California with weapons. And so as we look at liability, we look at industry best practices, we look at code enforcement shifting away from code enforcement to code compliance. And so in doing so, I made the call as a city manager to issue a, a changing condition of, of a workforce. And that meant I had to meet and confer with the union and let them know that we were going to take the weapons away. We issued the weapons, we can remove the weapons. And so right now we're in the process of getting all the weapons back doing the inventory. Once that's completed, I will be going to the council and giving them a full report on where we are, that we've secured all the weapons, and that there, and thankfully for us, there haven't been any issues in terms of <coughs> discharging of, of the weapons. I think it's important, really, to bring a broad perspective when we look at the city of Compton. Yeah, there are many negative things that we can point to, and are pointed to in the past and the present, but at the same time, we're looking at uh, another kind of presence in the city of Compton and a future in the city of Compton. It's a city that's going forward. It's a city that really is trying to come to grips and grapple with many of the problems, not only that are plagued from the past, but also really, really a good forward-looking future. And it could be a model, because this is a city that is a predominantly African-American, almost exclusively African-American and Hispanic city. It can really be a model, a template, for where cities that have faced problems in the past that are now minority majority where they can go for the future so we're going to keep our eye on straight out of contact